Is it possible to clone a dinosaur? Okay, let's cut to the chase. As of now, it is not possible to clone a dinosaur. I'm not talking about modern birds, the descendants of dinosaurs. I'm talking about the ancient non-avian dinosaurs, such as T-Rex, Stegosaurus, and Triceratops. So what gives? What are the challenges of cloning a dinosaur? First off, dinosaur fossils are actually chock full of DNA fragments. That's because bone contains a mineral called hydroxyapatite, which has a strong affinity for DNA. But we're not sure whose DNA is in these fossils. It could belong to dinosaurs, but it could also belong to microbes, other extinct animals, or even people who have worked with the fossils. Also, we don't know what dinosaur DNA looks like, so it would be hard to identify it amongst all the fragments. Besides, even if we could identify dinosaur DNA, we would need more than a few fragments to recreate an entire dinosaur genome. In the 1993 movie Jurassic Park, scientists collect dinosaur DNA from an ancient mosquito caught in amber. But this likely wouldn't work in real life because amber doesn't preserve DNA that well. For argument's sake, let's say we found fully sequenced dinosaur DNA and were somehow able to create a fertilized dinosaur egg. Once it hatches, would this baby dinosaur be able to survive in today's world? A world which has different temperatures and amounts of oxygen and carbon dioxide than were present 65 million years ago? I mean, it would be cruel to bring back just one animal to treat it like a curiosity. It takes about 5,000 animals to create a sustainable population with genetic diversity. So if we're going to seriously bring back dinosaurs, we'll need a big space to keep them that has plenty of food. Speaking of which, I'd advise bringing back plant eaters because it would be difficult, to say the least, to deal with T-Rex, which had serrated teeth the size of bananas. Can we clone dinosaurs? Just another one of Life's Little Mysteries. If you'd like even more Life's Little Mysteries, check out these videos and read even more on LiveScience.com.